Yes, sir. Let's get me back at it. It's another video. I mean, how's your Memorial Day doing? What y'all do this weekend? And did y'all cook out? Oh, y'all gonna cook out today. Let me know. We cooked out over here. I'm still stuff. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Definitely gotta hit the gym today because mm -mm, I'm stuff, stuff. Gay! Pause. No goody. Sound crazy. But, um, yeah, let me know. Wait, hold on, bro. It's kind of dark. Yeah, that looks way better. But, I mean, let me know y'all cooking out. What y'all got planning to make if y'all are cooking out so I can come over and take, like, two plates, you know, before I even start eating, you know, my, you know, us black people, you know, you know how we do. So, yeah, I got my aluminum foil ready, so let me know in the comments what y'all got to eat. But today, man, we got a basketball video. I know recently I kind of been, I haven't really been talking about, like, the games and stuff, but outside of the last one, but today we're going to talk about... Mavericks and the Timberwolves, man. Y'all really think Luka and Kyrie are the best offensive um backcourt ever? Me personally, well, first we're gonna start off with that. Me personally, offensively, well, first like it's just like I get it. I feel like one day be dragging all this stuff. Like first, can they like get? Even though obviously they're most likely are gonna get to the NBA Finals, so it's most likely gonna be them versus. <laughs> The Celtics, and to be honest, I have the Mavs winning, and I want the Mavs to win. Um, but yeah, just because one, Luca should have won MVP. As I said it before, Luca or Shea, and then the slack Kyrie was getting, like, yeah, the slack Kyrie was getting in the media and stuff. So I really want them to win. Let me know in the comments who y'all have winning, them or the Celtics. But I will say, if KP comes back, then it might be a little for me, <laughs> depending um if they if they sweep if. I mean, depending on Derek Lively, but he, I think he'll be straight. I think he'll be straight. Well, offensive backcourt, like, <laughs> offensively wise, I get it. Because they both gave you 30. They both gave you 33 yesterday. There's really nothing you can do. And the, and the thing is, it's different. Like, they'll give you 30. They won't give you 33 in all totality, like, at one time. <laughs> Like, it'll be at one, like, one will do it, like, right here. And then another person will, like, when they're making, like, the Timberwolves will make a run. And then that's when Kyrie go off. And then it, and it's valid because they know, like, when they take turns and stuff. And it's crazy because a lot of people were saying that day it wasn't going to work because they're both ball dominant. But Kyrie already, Kyrie the veteran. So he understands this is Luca's team. And then after Luca, it's then it's him and everybody else. So it's just like, but I would say... Maybe, I'm trying to think, because in my lifetime, I'm 24. Oh, damn. And I'm trying to think maybe in my lifetime. <laughs> mm. Probably that I've ever seen. Yeah. If Kyrie, if Kyrie Harden would have worked out, then it would have been Kyrie and Harden. In Brooklyn, that would have been them hands down. So she that, that Harden was still fat, giving niggas 30, 30 point triple doubles in um, Glade Cherry Donuts. Say, too, when I was thinking about the backcourt and stuff like that, again, a lot of time, too, when I be editing my videos or stuff, I be thinking about more stuff. I meant to say, too, um, you can think, and y'all probably thinking, oh, what about Steph and Clay, like the best offensive backcourt? But yeah, but. Clay is not like Kyrie. Like, trust me, Clay's a shooter. Clay, Clay's a shooter. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, he gave you he gave us like sixty and three quarters, but but he's not like. All right, you just throw the ball. To, you just like you know how like you just you can just give the ball to Luca. Oh, I would say Kyrie because he's the second option, but because you just go get go get one, Kai. Go get one. Clay, not as much for real, for real. So it's just like. I guess Clay's just not as a, a bucket getter, I guess you can say, as Kyrie. Obviously, Clay's one of the best shooters of all time, but he's still like bucket getter, though, wise. I would say Kyrie. So that's another reason why I said um, Luca and Kyrie, from my personal opinion, with my own eyes, have my own, my own four of them. Um, excuse me, some got my eye, but those are the best offensive backcourt I've ever seen. But yeah. But, and then, so, yeah, I would probably say that I've ever seen offensively wise, but you still gotta give them time, like, for me, like, they gotta win, and they gotta do it again, and then, for me, then they, they can be up there for one of the best backcourt duels also in NBA history, but let me know in the comments what I think, and then, but now we're gonna get, kind of, dive into the game. Anthony Edwards, he did say after game three, I mean, after game two, that he would be more aggressive, 
and he did take more shots. He was inefficient with them, but he, he did take more shots in cap room. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If it's me, like, first, they're just, the, the um, the Mavs are out coaching. They're out coaching, the, um, the Timberwolves off rip. It started really, like, really is just, like, it kind of started off with game one. When they kept having them in the drop, but I get, I get it, game one is really a filling out process for everybody, certain kind of. But, bro, when they kept having them, they kept having their centers and everybody in a pick and roll and drop covered. So, obviously, they're getting, they're lively. And, um, dang, I forgot the center. He got, he got violated. Oh, yeah, that dunk, yo, that dunk was crazy. With two road wins, nine. Oh, oh, what up? Crazy Anthony Edwards. Can't have that dunk and, and lose. You cannot. Because this, he was on a, a, like a seven, a seven old personal run himself that, that after that dunk. What I was saying, it's just, they're just really getting out coached. <laughs> That dunk was looking like me, though. I remember when I actually did that in Janai before. It was actually crazy. Stop the cap. It was my first and last time I actually dunked. You know, you know, it's like sometimes like like premeditated stuff. Like I didn't wasn't think I was just gonna go up and dunk on him. It was just like nobody nobody gonna stop me um, scoring, and I ended up just dunking on him. Maybe that's what he gets for being a Giants fan. But yeah, they're just get like I said, they're just getting too many easy lobs, and then I don't about cap, bro. You need the cap, bro. You. <laughs> Are taller than most of the, everybody that's guarding you, bro. Get down to the block, bro. And respectfully, to be honest, they should not start. They shouldn't be starting um, Rudy Gobert, bro. They should not be starting Rudy Gobert. They should have him coming off the bench and starting Nas Reed because it gets more offense and it gets and it gets more people out the paint so they can have Anthony Edwards play more downhill. <laughs> Cause you see, every time they got Rudy, every time they got the Twin Towers in there, obviously somebody can um, uh, come over, help defense, and clog the paint up at like after me and Chipotle. <laughs> because obviously Rudy Gobert no outside threat. No, he, no, he's not even a threat. Anything for real, for real. No, actually, he's a threat for your team if he's on your team. <laughs> honestly, but um. Yeah, that they're just getting out coaching, and then when I again, like I said before, with that game winner, there was no reason why Rudy Gobert should have been on him. It should Jaden Medano should have went over that screen, fought through that screen, because ain't no way you're gonna have Rudy Gobert on him, bro. But they're just like I said, they're just really getting out coach, and it's just like their game plan. Sometimes like that certain, I feel like at certain times they don't know when to send the the double team and blitz um. Blitz Luca or Kyrie to get the ball out of their hands, and then sometimes they, the double teams just come too late, or they're not that soft. Like one, um, one double team near the end of the game, Luke, um, Kyrie, even though it's Kyrie Irving, but he split. He literally split the two double team. He ended up missing the lay, but somebody got a um a putback. So it's just like for me, there's no reason why he should even be splitting the double team. So it's just like, but getting swept though is crazy. If y'all, if they get swept, what is their excuse? I mean, there's really no excuse because y'all got swept, but what, there's no reason why y'all couldn't win a game. One game, especially at home, bro. At home is crazy. Not wouldn't being able to win a game at home is crazy. So it was just like, I don't know, man. I really wanted, um, at first I wanted to, nah, I, I didn't want the Timberwolves to win. I don't think I even said it, but I did want the Timberwolves to win just because of Amp and stuff like that. But Kyrie and Luca, they doing their thing, man. And Anthony Edwards is shooting tour dates and stuff like that. But it's looking like it's about to be the Mavs and the uh, Celtics, man. Let me know in the comments who y'all got in that game. Because, and then the, uh, the Pacers play tonight, I believe, right? If not, then, no, yeah, they play tonight. It's probably going to be over. Because there's no way they blow that lead and the Celtics come back. But for me, oh, that's raining. You hear that outside? Never mind. You guys are not cooking out. It's raining. But let me know in the comments what y'all think, man. Who did not win in the finals? Celtics or Mavs? Um, that ring is crazy. I hope you. I hope y'all hear that live. Yeah, hear that live. That sounds very therapeutical, though. But I got one more video coming for y'all after this. Apologize for not posting yesterday. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, turn your post notices on. I'm catch y'all next.